What game is this? Rainbow Six. Why? Why are we playing Rainbow? Just what brings the most viewers. All right. I love you. Love you, baby. Have a good stream. You can only ban 10 people during this stream. Okay? I don't ban anybody. My mom's banned. Ban world is almost full. That's, that's a lie. <laughs> I've seen ban world with much higher capacity than this right now. <laughs> Would I actually name my child Jordy Jordan Jr.? Yeah. Like if I had a boy, it'd be, it'd be Jordy Jordan Jr. If I had a girl, or her name would be uh, Sarah Ella. I think it should be a crime if you name your child Jordy Jordan Jr. That should be, the state should come in, raid your house, steal your child away, because you're, you're just sending up this kid for a lifetime of failure. And I, I seem to remember, Wings, you were very adamant right before you got married, right after you got married, and a few times since then that, nah, I'm not going to have any kids, dog. I don't have money, dog. Uh, my, my dick doesn't work, dog. I don't have any testosterone, dog. That's, uh, that's the Wings I remember. And now somehow he's being finagled into wanting to have kids. A, a bit sus to me. I don't know, maybe... Maybe Sneak Diss and Kelly's finally getting up in there and she is uh, just uppercutting fat man and it's saying, you know what? You know what? You don't get to look at my saggy tits anymore if, if, if we aren't trying to make kids. And oh boy, Mr. Low T over here, that, that got him thinking about it. That got him almost getting his dick out of his fupa. That's most definitely what is up YouTube. That's an image that we all want to imagine. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if, if you're going to look at the locales that could have children, Wings might be the best of them. <laughs> it's not saying much. It's not saying much. But that kid may have a slightly normal life. Maybe. Maybe. Now, his dad is a complete failure, and his mom is a pushover and caters to everything that Fat Man wants. So, I wouldn't go too far, but we're going to look at a bunch of different fucking wings isms that have been going on lately and uh oh boy mr wingo he's down bad bagel bites we got some bagel bites what's up ray trey alien this is actually better than i was lately <laughs> like honestly <clears throat> like i didn't have a voice the last couple days like um so I like I had to sit out the local live because like I had a little bit of a voice before the podcast and I did the podcast and my voice just went just right down the toilet and I didn't have a voice for a good while. But you know what it is I can't keep missing work. Does it irritate anybody else? when wings or boogie talks about the podcast as being work it, it it irritates me because wings's whole objective with the podcast outside of making money for himself is to get guests on the show and he fails time and time again and if you follow me on twitter you will see every once in a while i'll quote tweet him because he'll put he uses fucking twitter like a Google search where he'll ask obvious questions and then I don't know ask his lemmings to come out and 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 give him the answer instead of looking it up himself I mean this guy has like no drive he has no motivation it's the same with Boogie and listening to them call it a job oh I have to show up to my job yeah I have to sit there for two hours and fucking be quiet half the time that's so fucking hard I mean the podcast is one of the least research things that exist in the entire local sphere which is shocking because there's plenty of fucking clickbait garbage that goes on throughout local stardom yet these guys just sit there don't research anything about anybody that they bring on and just cram cry and complain and rant all the time that's it follow up i'm not a big fan of bagel bites i know i've had some controversial food opinions out here but uh bagel bites never understood it never made much sense to me i don't even and this is going to be even more controversial i don't even like pizza rolls or pizza bites that much all right 
but they're better than bagel bites. That's my that's my definitive opinion. At the end of the day, it's just probably microwave garbage slop. You know, suck it down your gullet, Jordy. He's replacing banquet meals for fucking frozen <laughs> bagel bites. That's most definitely what's up. There was a there was a deal that was made in January where Keemstar bet me and Boogie to lose weight. And we had two months to lose as much weight as humanly possible. And we would get his cut of the money. And I didn't get it. And since I didn't get it, I've been eating everything under the f***ing sun. All of it, dog. Every piece of food that I could put in my fat fucking mouth. I had it in my mouth. So somebody explain this to me. How how do these two things correlate to each other? How does Keemstar not hooking you up with the whatever two grand that you're owed? Uh, lead you to just eating bagel bites all day and drinking Pepsi and Yoohoo's. Explain that to me. I'm, I'm a bit perplexed at this dilemma that we are presented with because, uh, I mean, Keemstar's a rat. He's not trustworthy. He himself is a little cow. So I don't know why he is viewed so favorably among a sect of people that pay attention to this sphere of the internet. But okay, cool. I, I, I don't see how it would be, ah, to, to cope, baby, I gotta go get fucking 40 Dave singles real quick, right now, that's most definitely was not up, I just don't get it, I really don't, I mean, I talked about in my last boogie video that, like, I am sympathetic to, like, the food disorders that people have, a lot of people don't understand it, and I'm sympathetic to it, but at the same time, there has to be some amount of owning what you're doing. And Wings doesn't really own anything. He always is just like, yeah, this is what I'm doing. It sucks, man. I didn't get paid money. Oh, okay, cool. Keep keep digging that fucking six foot wide grave, buddy. I still ain't got my fucking silver play button. What? No, no, no. Like, I, what, ready to engage what, we had board. a side bet oh. on the boxing match. We put our silver play buttons up. That motherfucker. <coughs> he hasn't done that yet? Nah, and like, I only have my silver play button. He has his gold, so his silver don't mean shit. Right, Can't send me my silver play button yet. Ten seconds. Well, I've seen the low cow podcast. He ain't doing so good, but I think he's just over hyping it. Well done, sir. The, well, the problem with Boogie is like his blood is thickening, and he has high blood pressure. Which could cause blood clots and cause like plumatory embolisms or even heart failure. That's the issue Boogie's running into right now. Yeah, so the reason that the podcast sucks, guys, is because Boogie's heart is turning into syrup. It's a syrup factory inside of his body. And it's Willy Wonka dancing around as his blood is liquefied into maple syrup. That's most definitely what is up. I, uh, I appreciate the honesty from Wings, you know, a man who just completely understands medicine and ailments that exist inside people's body. <laughs> and the funny thing is, like, we I've already discussed the whole boogie health situation type deal, and he could do more to try and lose weight, so could Wings, yet they both think that they, because they're so fat, they understand what the limitations on themselves are but they aren't because they're both really like weak-willed weak-minded people and so they don't push themselves when they should and we'll talk about this a little bit later wings is going to complain about his channel and we'll talk about like there are remedies in order to at least boost it somewhat and he's just lazy and is incapable of doing that and same with boogie but at the same time the whole like play button thing Honestly, when uh, the whole EDP situation went down and he was forced to sell all of his shit <laughs> on his own personal website, if it wasn't EDP, right, if it wasn't a pedo, owning a, a play button from some like fallen YouTube titan like EDP or Boogie or Wings would kind of be lit. I, I'm, I'm keeping it 100. I would love to own boogie's play button now i'm not going to give him an exorbitant amount of money would i give him a hundred bucks for it probably i think owning boogie's play button would be kind of cool maybe that just makes me lame maybe that just makes me some sort of 
loser groupie. But hey, I think that's a piece of like internet history right there. All right, guys, please hit the like button. If we don't get 100 likes in the first hour, I'm probably going to shut the stream down. Because <clears throat> the, the stream obviously didn't go out to people, so like, there's no reason to stream. YouTube is not being stupid today. Chud Logic has 1,200 viewers watching him watch YouTube videos. No, I said you can't see how many people dislike. They've kind of took it off the hub. Quit being fucking a stickler, man. I'm just trying to get more people in here. More people that engage, more people that chat, the more likely YouTube is going to put stuff out to the sub box. Stop being an asshole. All right, go ahead and ban call me dude, bro, please. Uh, truest Texan. Like, I would, but, like, people are not actually helping me out get the stream pushed out there. Because, like, the stream didn't go out to people, so I asked for 100 likes. And if people don't want to hit the like button... To help me help the fucking stream out, I'm not gonna stream. That's just that's just the thing, right? That's the point, Goofy. I'm trying to condition people to like the video more, because my, my 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 actual viewers never like. Since they don't like, it doesn't get put out. I feel like this is a really boomer understanding of the algorithm that Wings always tries to push. Engagement is good for your channel, but I don't think. 100 likes on a stream of a guy that has 400,000 subscribers and is getting 100 viewers is going to equate to, ah, you know what? YouTube's really changing their mind here. They're thinking, ah, actually, this channel is lit. Everybody loves this channel. Let's send it out to a ton of people. Now, when you upload a video and it happens with evergreen content, I guess you want to say, Basically, YouTube will do these trials where like when you first upload a video, it'll send it out to the regular people and then a little bit later, maybe 12 hours, maybe a day, they'll send it out to a different chunk of people to see if they're interested. And if they are interested, it continues down the line until people stop tuning into it, right? So you're able to have these spikes show up every once in a while. I don't really know if that relates to streaming. I mean, I stream once every blue moon and I don't give a flying fuck if people are showing up or not. I enjoy it when people are there, but I'm not sitting there like, all right guys, um, let's see. Uh, I typically get thousands of views on a video and there's only like 200 people here. What the fuck? Like I'm gonna end my stream right now, like real talk. It's like, how fucking entitled and pretentious are you? <laughs> it's at this point, it's like, I don't, I, I really don't get it from Wings. It's what's the difference between 100 viewers and 200 viewers do you actually think that 200 viewers are going to turn into a thousand viewers down the road i mean give me a fucking break dude <clears throat> but like it's one of those things where it's like i don't want to like get complacent i'm just i just wish i could see growth on streaming and i just don't ever get to see growth like, there's channels way smaller than mine pulling 1,000 viewers. I should be pulling 1,000 viewers how many, how many years I've been doing this, and I'm not. Note to everybody out there, he's not saying I should be pulling 1,000 viewers because he's entitled to it. He's saying he should pull 1,000 viewers because he's been doing it for so long. He has built an audience in the past, and it's kind of embarrassing that he doesn't pull it, right? Now, some of you might think he's not that self-aware, I'll give Jordy the benefit of the doubt here, all right? I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Now, it's just, it, it just is a, like at this point where certain people are targeting certain things that people will be interested in. So me talking about Cyrax on a live stream, even though I don't live stream very often, will pull more viewers than a Jordy stream because honestly honestly real talk real talk i just don't get the fascination with sitting there and listening to a live streamer i don't get it i'm sorry i'm sorry i will put streams up on my other screen when i'm working on stuff but it's muted it's just to have a fucking moving picture on the side i could put a fucking tv show silent on the side and it'd be the exact same thing right but i just don't get it especially with gaming i just if you're not the greatest player and you don't have 
the greatest personality in the world, why would I tune in? Well, quit looking at the camera, man. I shake my legs. It's something I always do, and it's something I can't stop. Uh, he's an active troll in Low Cow Live. He basically tried to throw my viewer count up in my face to make me anxious. He's constantly sneak dissed for throughout the last week. He deserves a 30 minute ban. Crunchy Munchy, why would you dislike my stream, man? Like, why do you hate me so much that you wanted like mess with my money? Liking your stream is not taking money away from you, you fucking dunce. All right, <laughs> like there are still people out there. Go watch a fucking Amberlynn Reed video. She will get a four to one dislike ratio and still pulls in cashola. All right, having any sort of engagement is good. Even if people are saying, saturate content, worst content in the entire world. I'd rather suck off my dad than fucking watch another video of his. Cool. Go off, King, because that's only giving more engagement for me, right? And I get to read it and laugh and be like, damn, this guy's really fucking sad. You're taking your time out of the day to cry and complain. Now, if, if Wings would sit here and say, wow, man. You thought it was worth your time to tell me that you dislike my stream? How fucking sad and pathetic are you? You're one of 150 people in here, and you thought that was relevant? That was a good use of your time in your life? Yikes. That's scary, bro. That's a that's a bad look on you. Oh, fucking owned. You just owned him. But nah, he's, he's too fragile. He's too delicate. We have to be nice to Mr. Wingo, all right? He's a big, he's a 400-pound man. He can barely walk. You know, you have issues when wiping your ass when you're 450 pounds. Because like, let, let me let me be real here, man. Like the, the bullshit and then the, like, first off, when I insult people, most of the time, it's not my feelings are hurt. Like I just try to be funny and like insulting and talking down to people is what I do best, right? Like if you give me somebody I can dog on, I'm pretty funny. Like, right? I'm, I like to say I'm charismatic, but... You know, there's there's a lot that goes in to like how you feel, like uh, situations on like where your mental headset, where your mental, where you're mentally at, and stuff like that. They go into like, oh man, do I need to pick a video? So Wings is talking about, ah, uh, yeah, you know, I could I could broaden my horizons on YouTube. Maybe I could pull more people in if I. Did more gameplay commentaries or let's plays or IRL videos, whatever. And I posted multiple times a week. Maybe I could pull more people in. But no, no, I'm wings. I'm scared. I don't I don't like the idea of, of people being mean to me online. Even though he cries and complains on a stream all day that people are <laughs> bullying him, right? So you have to pick a lane. Either you're okay with being bullied because you're on the internet and that's what people do, or you're not and you disappear, all right? Those are your choices. You can be bullied, make your videos, and maybe you open yourself up to a new audience that comes in, and maybe it works out. Now, I don't really think it would because I don't see Wings putting in the time and effort that it would take to actually revitalize his channel. He is such a victim and such a sad sack of shit that, like, I just don't really see him showing up and being like, you know what? We're going to really crank out this fucking Bucky's walkthrough video that I did. And he cried and complained when that video came out because he's like, oh, it didn't do as well as I thought. It got, like, 15K views in a couple days. Like, that's pretty good for not uploading a video in forever. You, you don't even get, like, 250 viewers on your streams typically. Like, pick a lane, bro. I'm a sexy man. Quit hating. <clears throat> like, if I wasn't a 400 pound, you know, can of Crisco, it'd be over for you hoes. Dude, the next low cows is either going to flop and everybody's going to hate it, or it's going to be like set the standard of what people want from low cow. Because I, I feel like the next episode is the actual first, like, episode with an actual low cow. I'm referred to any, like, I'm referred to any guy that would be, like, a five or six, you know, like, for example, like, receding hairline, that kind of shit. Like, I got a receding hairline. That's just one of the plights I have in my life. You know what I do? I shave that bitch off. 
I don't try to do the comb over or any of that bull. No, I'm a I'm an average looking dude, right? But like I'm cute in the face. I mean, my my abject like what I find attractive is not what everybody finds attractive. Like I like big girls, you know, and like to me, personality goes a long way. We've been over this. He likes big girls because that's all he can get. Cool, go off, King. That's your prerogative. Cool, do whatever you want to do. The fact that he has the cognitive dissonance to believe that he is a five or six is bizarre. Uh, there's a reason I'm 30 goddamn one, gray hair, gray beard, real talk. All right? What, uh, you think I've forgotten? You think I'm getting rid of that? You're fucking almost 40 years old. You have no hair. You have no money. You have no career. You sit online and play video games all day. You're 400 pounds. Uh, should I go further? I mean... It, you you have a toxic relationship with the environment that you put yourself in i mean there's so many things that people could grill you on yet you want to sit here and say you know what <laughs> damn jordy jordy pretty fucking sexy oh my god my return on investment has been poor lately i'm trying to get him out of here, I, 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 dude low cal podcast has almost doubled my income what are you talking about my channel might still be at work. my channel money's up my viewers up my viewer retention's up i don't know where i don't know what you're looking at how are you making money on a podcast when you lose 10k viewers a month you're basing it all off of youtube ads like you what you don't understand we're on spotify we're on we're on apple podcasts we're on um we're on a couple other platforms we got shorts on facebook we got youtube we got youtube shorts we got There's YouTube videos. We got 552 subscriptions. We have people who who come in and support the podcast through donations. Like, I don't know what you're saying, Amari. Like, you're like all you're looking at is one aspect of the business. They keep doing this cope where it's like, ah, actually, guys, actually, we have all these other avenues of revenue. Cool. But you're currently averaging like 25k views a video, which is really bad. Really bad. Like, part of the problem is they should fire their editor and just upload the live stream in its entirety. And then, for the members only stuff, because I know Keem, you know, Rat Keem with his little hat on top of his head. I know he's going to complain and say, well, we have to make more. I have to make money off of this show. I have to make, okay, cool. Do a separate fucking after show every episode that is members only. Cool. You figured it out, buddy. It shouldn't be the stream to the members and then an edited bullshit garbage version for everybody else. How do you think that's going to pull people in? Fucking stupid. The podcast is going to be dead by this time next year. I feel pretty confident about that. Bringing people like Shoe Nice on and thinking, ah, you know, we finally got a low cow. You are the low cow, buddy. Like, Christ. These guys are so, like, unaware of their surroundings. It's embarrassing. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.